Hello and very warm welcome to all of you my dear friends. How are you all? I hope all of you are very fine, doing very well and preparing for the exam with your whole heart. So today I have brought another video to help you in cracking the video. So today is our topic, will be very important topic that is I will be going to give you the tips to improve your score in preliminary, preliminary exam of bank. So first thing before we start as we i have told you earlier also please subscribe to my youtube channel before we start because whenever we are going to bring new videos you'll be easily getting the notification and you'll be getting the video on your subscribers list now let us before we start with preliminary exam about what we need to do let us understand that how bank records bank records in three phases first will be preliminary exam that is prelims and second after clearing the prelims exam will be moving forward to mains exam then again if you clear the mains exam then you will be going to interview but remember that in case of clerk exam they do not conduct interviews what happens there after prelims then mains and according to the merit list of mains you will be getting the bank okay but in PO you will have to go through the interview also and in case of some banks like Bank of Baroda or SBI PO there will be interview plus GD and GD also there okay that means 50 marks will be given to the group discussion and 50 marks will be given to the personal interview but in case of IBPS PO there will be only interview now coming to the prelims exam now prelims exam in prelims there are three subjects will be asked first is reasoning second is quantitative aptitude and third is english language so in the reasoning there will be 35 question and the marks will be give, provide, allotted to that will be 35 marks quantitative aptitude there will be 35 questions and 35 marks will be allotted to that in english language 30 questions and 30 marks will be allotted to that now what time i have written here preferred time is not the time that they are giving they will be giving a composite one hour but why i have written here is that when you will be opening that prelims exam will be going to appear there you will see that first at first it will be opening english language but what i suggest you is that start with reasoning portion and give 20 minutes time once you see that 20 minutes time what you have given there is consumed now move to the next part that is quantitative aptitude give 25 minutes and then when you see that all 15 minutes remaining then move to english language now how many questions you should attempt that is also important depends on the difficulty level actually in case of reasoning uh, on an average you should try to attempt 25 to 30 questions and in quantitative aptitude you should try to attempt near about 20 to 25 questions and in english language also you should try to 20 to 25 questions so overall we can say that 65 to 80 questions will be a good attempt in prelims exam now let us understand about prelims exam now what I told you that 65 to 80 marks that is a different thing we will understand that why I told you but before that let us understand what is a prelims exam. Prelims exam is totally qualifying exam. Here if the cutoff is going 50 marks and you are getting 51 or you are getting 50 marks doesn't matter you are clearing the prelims and you will be going to the mains because prelims exam marks will not be counted later they will they are not going to add but in mains exam whatever the marks you are getting that will be added now why i told you that you are going to get uh, 65 to 80 marks will be a good one because if you are going to clear the paper you are competing other people also if other people are getting marks 65 to 80 marks and you are getting low marks you are getting 51 50 and you are clearing the paper that doesn't matter you are clearing the paper but what is happening here is you are lagging behind that's why i'm telling you should not lag behind anyone you should try from the first attempt only that you should compete other person you should go ahead of them now let us see that it is not uh, in prelims exam or in main exam especially in bank exams you need to understand that if you are clearing the cutoff overall cutoff but you are not clearing the sectional cutoff then you will not pass you need to understand for example 
here we have seen that 35 marks question uh, is there on reasoning the cutoff is just consider that the cutoff is 10 marks and you got 9 marks in reasoning so what is happening here is overall cutoff is 50 and you have got 50 marks also but in case of reasoning subject only you got 9 marks instead of 10 so what here happened is you haven't cleared sectional cutoff of reasoning okay this section has not been cleared that means overall you have got 60 marks or 80 marks also but you have not got cleared this reasoning section that means you will not be cleared brilliance exam and you cannot move to mains exam so you will have to clear the sectional cutoff also and you will have to clear the mains the overall cutoff also to go to mains exam now let us understand how to improve your score in brilliance exam this is very important so today i will be telling you that how you can improve your score in brilliance exam now it is commonly found that in bank exams especially in brilliance exam the pattern of the question are always similar as they asked earlier that means they started this in 2015 and since 2015 we have been continuously watching and observing all the questions that were that they asking especially in bank exam so we have observed that the questions are the same pattern they are asking the similar questions again and again only different to different exams they are having their different difficulty level otherwise the pattern is same always so here what we can get the conclusion from this is that you need to get the pattern at first and you need to work on very hard work on those questions those pattern okay so now as we know that many experiments are also aware of that and so you should be aware now because you are competing with lakhs of aspirants actually 15 to 20 lakhs of aspirants you are competing with so you need to know the pattern of questions and you should be well equipped with that now let us see that what are the questions that they are commonly asked and you should be well equipped with that not only well equipped you should be proficient you should be skillful in that so let us see in reasoning subject what you need to be pro okay so i'm going to tell you the topics the what are the topics that they are asking commonly and only this topic if you cover this topic only you need need not cover any other topic only this topic okay in which i am going to tell you also that which are the topics which are very easy and you need to know so let us see first topic is inequality that is very very easy topic you will be getting 5 marks easily then syllogism 5 marks easily easy topic coding decoding easy topic blood relation is also easy topic direction sense is, is, is an easy topic then ranking and order this is actually asked in clerk exam especially they do not ask in po but you should it is again very easy topic you should be aware of this should be well equipped in this linear arrangement again linear arrangement is a question which is very easy if you practice it okay the questions that they are asking is normally they ask that six people are sitting in a row they are facing north and six people are sitting opposite to that people and they are facing south so this kind of two rows will be there that it will be linear arrangement and in circular arrangement there will be square and uh, some people will be uh, facing the center some people will be facing outside this kind of question will be coming and in puzzle there will mostly what we observed that, that they are asking is floor arrangement only these questions you need not do anything now uh, as i told you that i will be telling you that which are the questions that you should solve now before i should say you should solve as i told you that 25 to 30 questions you should do that means only five question you can leave so which five questions you can leave is the last one puzzle floor arrangement normally it takes more time than other eight questions what i told you so you can leave the puzzle that means apart from puzzle 30 questions you should solve now coming to the next subject that is quantitative aptitude whatever the topics i am telling you should remember that whether you can give if you can take the screenshot take a screenshot if you are 
not taking the screenshot just note down this is very very important because this topic you can't leave them you need to be proficient in this topic okay in the quantity of aptitude what are the topics that they are asking let us see first thing is number series very very important topic because every exam they are asking numbers and that is very very easy now number series i have made video on this only 14 questions i have put there and only from that 14 questions you will get this five marks you need not do any other thing just go through my video you will get it i am assuring you simplification and approximation normally what happens that in pure exam they ask simplification question but that will be approximation approximately you will have to get the answer okay so you can practice that and that will be consisting of five marks okay that is very easy topic then quantity equation inequality topic will be there that is again five marks this is also very easy topic that means you have easily got 15 marks in PO in case of clerk simplification questions will be there that will be not approximation direct simplification question will be there and it will be 10 to 15 marks in some exam it is 10 marks in some exams it is 15 marks also in clerk mostly i have seen that they are asking for 15 marks also approximate uh, simplification question in clerk exam okay now if you are getting 15 marks in simplification and 5 marks for numbers is it is 20 marks in clerk apart from this you should solve data interpretation that will be 15 marks in clerk it may be 10 marks or 5 marks also now data interpretation there what you should do and what you should not do remember that you should practice this is very very easy topic data interpretation what happens that people think that data interpretation is a big topic and you cannot solve it takes time no it is not like that it is very easy topic you just need to solve you just need to practice this once you have practiced you will find that data interpretation is very very easy topic it is not a tough topic remember that now in line graph and bar graph especially these are very easy topic data table sometimes it may be time consumed it may be calculative so if you find line graph and bar graph at first try to solve line graph and bar graph and then give if you have remaining time then give data table but what i told you how much time you have to give in quantitative aptitude is 25 minutes if you can complete the questions what i told you if you can complete the questions in 25 minutes and you are remaining then you should try other questions if you see that 25 minutes are covered and you have solved near about 20 questions or 80 questions leave that your time matters already you need to understand that time management is very very important don't waste your time don't waste your time sticking with a single question leave the question don't give a single question much time give on and around one minute to a single question or maximum one and a half minute in quantitative aptitude not more than that you need to understand okay okay and apart from that miscellaneous questions are there i remember my dear students that try to attempt more and more and get more and more marks in the first four what i have written that is number series simplification quantity equation and data interpretation miscellaneous questions are so many questions are there and normally it takes more time as compared to the first four why because the miscellaneous questions are coming from the different topic you just give time to the first topic then you have got the answer then again the next topic again you uh, give your time to the next topic uh, next uh, formula and all these things so normally happens that it takes near about one and a half to two minutes confirm but in number series simplification it takes near about 30 second to 40 second that's why we prefer first four then if you see that you have remaining time in your hand from 25 minutes then you start solving miscellaneous questions if you find that miscellaneous questions are started when you open the section and you see that miscellaneous questions are given and you know that you are very uh, pro very proficient in miscellaneous questions still i suggest don't solve first miscellaneous questions at first solve this number series simplification quadratic and data interpretation questions then come to miscellaneous okay now coming to the next our subject that is english language you should attempt this subject at the end how much time you will have to give it is 15 minutes remember that those 15 minutes are required you cannot think that you are very much good 
in english language that's why you are not giving 15 minutes you can complete in 10 minutes maybe but try to give 15 minutes if you see that the time is remaining then go back to quantitative aptitude and you can solve the questions but before that remember that you need to give 15 minutes so what are the questions that they are asking they are asking reading comprehension nowadays in the last year only what we have observed is the first three reading comprehension spotting errors and closed test three topics were there of 10 10 marks that will be 30 marks but before that they also used to ask phrase replacement and para jumbled and sometimes they used to ask that spelling mistakes also spelling errors so you need to go through the vocabulary at first if you want to get good marks in english language because the basic is vocabulary even if you know grammar very well but if you are not aware of vocabulary you are not getting the meaning of that word sometimes you may not apply the rule of grammar why because once you do not understand how will you get to know that here we can use this rule so you need to understand the vocabulary that is very important once you understand the meaning we will easily apply the rule of grammar anywhere so in reading comprehension you will get question of vocabulary at least four marks so there will be four months you can easily cleanse that and spotting errors you need to focus on tense verb preposition conjunction adjective noun pronoun articles these are the topics you need to cover for spotting errors that will be of 10 marks sometimes it may be of five marks and five marks for phrase replacement phrase replacement is again kind of spotting error only there will be phrase given that will be underlined or that will be bold and they will be asking you question will be asking you that replace this phrase with another phrase they will be providing you five options and tell you to tell which one is the correct one and then para jumbled para jumbled is about rearrangement of the sentences sentences are given in a jumbled form and you need to arrange in a chronological form and closed test is kind of fill up test only there will be a paragraph in which there will be some fill ups some blanks will be given which you will have to fill up now you need to understand that all the above topics which i told you that those are very very important if you complete those topic i bet you i assure you that no one can let you go out of the game of prelims exam you need to understand that only this topic if you cover you are surely clearing this exam okay and remember that how much questions i told you to attempt 65 to 80 questions so at first finish the topics what i told you and become a proficient in that now and after the completing the topics you need to understand after completing the topics now it is very important that you should practice hard to increase your speed you know all the topic but you don't have a speed again you will face the problem you will not even be able to attempt 45 to 50 courses if you don't have a speed so you need to practice again and again if you practice again and again you will surely enhance your speed and how to practice sometimes you think that i am good in all these things but what happens when you are appearing for the exam at that time you are gaining not gaining the confidence you are having lack of confidence you are getting nervous so better you should go for mock tests start giving mock tests at first on the topic based and then sectional based and then the full length test on prelims if you follow this this is steps i assure you you will grab the job easily now this is all for my from my side i hope this will be very very helpful to you and i hope you like my video please do subscribe to my channel and share it with all more and over you are sharing my videos more people will watch my video i would like to bring more and more videos and i assure you that what are the videos i am bringing you these are very useful and this will be very helpful to clinch the job easily you can also contact me on my mail id if you need to contact me on arna b2412 at that gmail.com and you can also connect me on facebook that is facebook.com slash arna bhattacharji.24 if you just give it on your url you will get me my name is arna bhattacharji i am a national trainer and earlier i was 
the bank of baroda pu now i am canara bank pu thank you for watching please take care